Heinz von Furster, German spelling, Heinz von Forster, November 13, 1911, Vienna, October 2, 2002, Pescadero, California, was an Austrian-American scientist combining physics and philosophy, and widely attributed as the originator of second-order cybernetics. He was twice a Guggenheim Fellow 1956-57 and 1963-64 and also was a Fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science, 1980. He is well known for his 1960 Doomsday Equation formula published in Science Predicting Future Population Growth. As a polymath, he wrote nearly 200 professional papers, gaining renown in fields from computer science and artificial intelligence to epistemology, and researched high speed electronics and electro optics switching devices as a physicist, and in biophysics, the study of memory and knowledge. He worked on cognition based on neurophysiology, mathematics, and philosophy and was called one of the most consequential thinkers in the history of cybernetics. He came to the United States, and stayed after meeting with Warren Sturgis McCulloch, where he received funding from the Pentagon to establish the Biological Computer Laboratory, which built the first parallel computer, the Numa Reti. Working with William Ross Ashby, one of the original Ratio Club members, and together with Warren McCulloch, Norbert Wiener, John von Neumann and Lawrence J. Fogel, Heinz von Furster was an architect of cybernetics and one of the members of the Macy Conferences, eventually becoming editor of its early proceedings alongside Hans Lucas Tuber and Margaret Mead. Biography <inaudible> 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 Von Furster was born in 1911 in Vienna, Austria-Hungary, as Heinz von Forster. He was the grandson of Austrian architect Emil Ritter von Furster. He studied physics at the Technical University of Vienna and at the University of Breslau, where in 1944 he received a PhD in physics. His relatives included Ludwig Wittgenstein, Erwin Lang and Hugo von Hofmannsthal. Ludwig Forster was his great-grandfather. His Jewish roots didn't cause him much troubles while he worked in radar laboratories during the Nazi era, as he hid his ancestry with the help of an employer who chose not to press him for documents on his family. He moved to the USA in 1949, and worked at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, where he was a professor of electrical engineering from 1951 to 1975. He also was professor of biophysics 1962 to 1975 and director of the Biological Computer Laboratory 1958 to 1975. Additionally, in 1956-57 and 1963-64 he was a Guggenheim Fellow and also president of the Wenner-Gren Foundation for Anthropological Research from 1963 to 1965. He knew well and was in conversation with John von Neumann, Norbert Wiener, Humberto Maturana, Francisco Varela, Gordon Pasch, Gregory Bateson, Lawrence J. Fogel and Margaret Mead, among many others. He influenced generations of students as a teacher and inclusive, enthusiastic collaborator. Topic. Work Von Furster was influenced by the Vienna Circle and Ludwig Wittgenstein. He worked in the field of cybernetics and is known as the inventor of second-order cybernetics. He made important contributions to constructivism. He is also known for his interest in computer music and magic. Topic. The Electron Tube Laboratory In 1949, von Furster started work at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign at the Electron Tube Laboratory of the Electrical Engineering Department, where he succeeded Joseph Tykoczynski Tykosina. With his students he developed many innovative devices, including ultra-high frequency electronicache also worked on mathematical models of population dynamics and developed a general model now called the von Furster equation. The mathematical formula can be derived from first principles and reads, N T plus N A equals minus M A N display style frac partial N partial T plus frac partial N partial A equals M A N, where N equals N T A T stands for time and A for age. M A is the death in function of the population age, N T A is the population density in function of age. When M A equals zero, we have N T equals minus N A 
Display style frac partial n partial t equals frac partial n partial a. It relates that a population ages, and that fact is the only one that influences change in population density. The negative sign shows that time flows in just one direction, that there is no birth and the population is going to die out. It is therefore a transport equation. It can be solved using a characteristics method. Another way is by similarity solution, and a third is a numerical approach such as finite differences. To get the solution, the following boundary conditions should be added n t 0 equals 0 infinity b a n t a d t Display style n t zero equals int underscore zero carrot inf t b a n t a d t, which states that the initial births should be conserved. See sharp lotka mckendricks equation for otherwise, and that n zero equals f a display style n zero a equals f a which states that the initial population must be given, then it will evolve according to the partial differential equation. Biological computer laboratory In 1958, he formed the Biological Computer Lab, studying similarities in cybernetic systems in biology and electronics. Topic. Macy Conferences He was the youngest member of the core group of the Macy Conferences on Cybernetics and editor of the Five Volumes of Cybernetics 1949 a series of conference transcripts that represent important foundational conversations in the field. It was von Furster who suggested that Wiener's coinage, Cybernetics, be applied to this conference series, which had previously been called Circular causal and feedback mechanisms in biological and social systems. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Doomsday equation. A 1960 issue of Science magazine included an article by von Furster and his colleagues P. M. Mora and L. W. Amio proposing a formula representing a best fit to available historical data on world population. The authors then predicted future population growth on the basis of this formula. The formula gave 2.7 billion as the 1960 world population and predicted that population growth would become infinite by Friday, November 13, 2026 von Furster's 115th birthday anniversary, a prediction that earned it the name, the Doomsday Equation. Based on population data obtained from various sources, von Furster and his students concluded that world population growth over the centuries was faster than an exponential. In such a situation, doubling time decreases over time. Von Furster's tongue-in-cheek prediction of doomsday on November 13, 2026, was based on an extrapolation into the future of doubling time, with the finding that doubling time would decrease to zero on that date. Responders to his doomsday prediction objected on the grounds of the finite human gestation time of nine months, and the transparent fact that biological systems rarely persist in exponential growth for any substantial length of time. Those who knew von Furster could see in his rejoinders an evident sense of humor. Topic. Doomsday equation, recent research The hyperbolic growth of the world population observed until the 1970s has recently been correlated to a nonlinear second-order positive feedback between demographic growth and technological development that can be spelled out as follows. Technological growth implies an increase in carrying capacity, an increase in the number of people who can survive on any given plot of land. Demographic growth more people implies more potential inventors and hence an acceleration of technological growth. Accelerating technological growth causes accelerating growth of carrying capacity, in a positive feedback loop. Faster population growth likewise feeds back by accelerating growth of the number of potential inventors, and then even faster technological growth. Hence, even faster growth of the Earth's carrying capacity for people, and so on. Topic. See also Logarithmic timeline 
Das Netz, Interview with von Furster, 2003 Macy Conferences Power Law, the equation that he derived for the date calculated is one that nowadays is called a power law. List of dates predicted for apocalyptic events The Dream of Reality by Lynn Siegel, 1986. A book summarizing von Furster's constructivist epistemology. Publications Von Furster authored more than 100 publications. Books, a selection 1949, Cybernetics, Transactions of the Sixth Conference, Editor, Josiah Macy Jr. Foundation, New York, 220 pp. 2002, Understanding Understanding, a volume of Von Furster's papers, published by Springer Verlag, 2002. 2010, with Monica Broker, Part of the World. Fractals of Ethics, a drama in three acts. Heinz von Furster's most extensive biography. First published in German in 2002, with Monica Broker. Tile der Welt. Fraktale einer Ethik, ein Drama in drei Akten, Articles, a selection. 1958. Basic Concepts of Homeostasis. In, Homeostatic Mechanisms, Upton, New York, pp. 216-242, 1958. 1960. Doomsday, Friday, November 13, A.D. 2026. With P. M. Mora and L. W. Amio, Science 132, pp. 1291 to 1295, 1960. 1961. A predictive model for self-organizing systems. Part 1, Cybernetica 3, pp. 258 to 300. Part 2, Cybernetica 4, pp. 20 to 55. With Gordon Pasch, 1961. 1964. Biological Computers. With W. Ross Ashby, in, Bioastronautics, K. E. Schaefer, Macmillan Co., New York, pp. 333-360, 1964. 1969. What is memory that it may have hindsight and foresight? 1971. Computing in the semantic domain. 1971. Technology. What will it mean to librarians?